This is the strengthening class one. We're gonna be focusing on a lot of the upper body today. So get ready to begin at the front of your mat. Go ahead and ground down through the feet. Start to feel where your body is today. As you connect in with your breath, move at your own pace. But we'll be going together with breathing. Warm up the shoulders a little bit. So as we get into the upper body, important that we'll also be stretching it at the same time, which is a beauty of strengthening and lengthening. So from the front of your mat, grounding down through the feet, inhale, reach the arms up overhead, bend the elbows and grab opposite elbows with the hands, lift up and over to the right side. And then inhale back to center, up and over to the left. Most of the work we'll be doing today will be on the mat. Inhale back to center, over to the right. Inhale back to center and over to the left. So it'll be less standing, but more mat time. Inhale back to center and exhale forward fold. You're gonna bend the knees, interlace the hands at the small of your back, and maybe the arms straighten. They don't have to. Your legs can certainly stay bent and let the arms extend up overhead. Stretching out the shoulders. Maybe feel this in your upper back. And then release the bind, inhale to a long spine. And exhale, step, step back, plank position. And hold yourself in a plank here. So you pull the navel in towards the spine, press down through the palms. You feel the energy moving up the arms. Right? Engage the core, strong legs, hold three, two, and on one, you're gonna shift forward a couple inches and lower yourself all the way down to the mat with control. Untuck the toes, plant the hands a little bit forward, press into the palms and lift on up. Exhale, lower back down. Tuck those toes under, press into the palms. Up into a plank to a downward facing dog, bend the knees. Let's just start to pedal the legs out a little bit. Bending one, bending the other. Now, even in a downward facing dog, you're still using the upper body. It's not really a resting pose. You're still using the upper body for sure. So you almost want to, uh, like a jar, you're trying to open the jar with your hands externally. It's the kind of grip you want to have there. Then your inhale, shift forward to a plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. And just ease like that back and forth. Inhale, shift to plank, downward facing. Eight more, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, down frog. Seven, shift forward, plank. Downward facing. Six, shifting forward. Downward facing dog. Five, halfway there. Shift it back. Four, shift forward. Downward facing dog. Three, should be feeling this a little bit by now. Two, inhale, shift forward. Downward facing. Last one, inhale, shift forward. Downward facing dog. Shift forward to a plank. Separate your feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And as you hold in plank, begin to pin your left palm down. Engage your core and bring your left hand to tap, your right hand to tap your left shoulder and then back to plank. Try and keep your hips level when you do this. Left hand to right shoulder, lower back down plank. Okay, shoulder taps. Tap left, plank. Tap right, plank. Tap left, plank. Tap right, plank. You can always modify and take your knees down, but we're switching side to side. Left, right, left, right, Two more, left, right, to the left, tap right, shift forward, lower your weight all the way down towards the mat. Again, with control, toes on tuck, press into the palms, lift on up, take a stretch, inhale, stay on the exhale, inhale, then lower down, exhale. Toes look back under, press back, downward facing dog. Slowly walk your way to the front of the mat, or you can hop to. Inhale, do a long spine. And exhale, forward fold. 
Interlace the hands, small the back, let the arms lift up and overhead. Remember, rise all the way up, bent knees, arms reach up. Next exhale, forward fold, right back down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, plant the hands, step, step back. Hold three, two, and one. Shift forward, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra or your upward dog. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Step your right foot between the hands. Now you're gonna reach on up high lunge. Have a bend in the knees. We're really focusing more on the upper body, so you can have a bend in the knees. You're gonna press the palms together, reverse the prayer behind the back of your head, and you're leaning back into it. All right, so reverse prayer behind where your neck is, and you're leaning in. This should start to activate your upper back. That's exactly what we're aiming for. Lift up to go back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Three, two, and one, inhale, rise back up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Four more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale, two. One more, inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms, arms up overhead, inhale. Lower the hands down towards the mat, exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale to plank, and exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes. So as we come into locust pose, this is a variation, you'll take the arms by your side, palms face down. The head and the chest lift, the arms lift, and as an option, you can also lift your legs as well. Strengthens the entire upper back and body, which is beautiful for your posture, and also great for us to do throughout the day. Inhale, feel your back of your head lifting up towards the sky. Three, two, and one, lower all the way down. Press them back, downward facing dog. We're we'll gonna do that on the other side. Lift the left leg high, inhale. You're gonna step the left foot between your hands, coming into a high lunge. Inhale, arms up. And like before, press the palms together, reverse the prayer to the back of the head. Inhale, lift on up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together so the elbows move away from one another. Inhale. And exhale. Four. Breathing. Two. And one. Good, inhale, arms up. And then cactus arms five times, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, two. Inhale. Three. Last two. Inhale, arms up. Last one. Inhale, arms up overhead. Hands lower down to the mat. Step back, plank. Shifting forward, lower all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes. Locust pose variation two. So like we did in the first one, you lift the head, the chest. Now the arms are like those cactus arms. Option to lift the legs. Feel the elbows lift. Feel the wrists lift. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Three. Two. And one, lower all the way down. Take a deep breath in and a full exhale. Plant the palms, press up to plank, downward facing dog. Looking forward, step, step, or hop your way to the front of the mat. Inhale to a long spine and exhale forward fold. Interlace the hands again and let the arms extend up overhead. Deep breath in. Full breath out. And take your hands, really step by and take your hands to your waist. And you're gonna extend forward. So you create a number seven with the body. So the chest lifts. 
hips back behind you, hands come to the back of the head, elbows up, engage the core, holding five, try and level your body with the floor as much as possible, three, two, and one, relax that down, bend the knees, inhale, lift halfway, exhale, plant the palms, step, step back, plank, shift forward, low push up, upward facing dog, take it back, downward facing dog, exhale, full breath in, full breath out. High lunge again, lift the right leg high, inhale, and then step the right foot between the hands. Inhale, arms reach up. Interlace the hands this time, you're gonna make like a pillow behind the back of the head. So you lean your head into it, lift up to go back, up to go back. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Two, and one, rise back up. Arms extend out to the side. Now imagine you're pressing your palms in towards a door frame. Okay, press, 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 squeeze the upper back. Everything in the upper body is engaged here. Minus your smile, just gonna keep the face soft and happy. Three, two, and one. Inhale, reach on up. Take a deep breath in. Good, exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back, plank. We're gonna do a push-up again. Shifting forward, low push-up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, exhale. Deep breath in, and a full exhale. As we step the left foot between the hands, we repeat that on the other side. So we come on into a high lunge. Left foot is forward, arms reach up. Interlace the hands, and I recommend switch up the bind of the hands. So now I'll put the left one on top, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift on up through the chest, holding five, four, three, two, and one. Raise the arms back up. Press the arms out wide to the side as if you're pressing into a door frame. Pressing, lifting the chest, hold five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Next, exhale, lower the hands down to the mat. Shift forward. And this time lower all the way down towards the floor. Locust pose variation three. <laughs> lift the chest. You bring those arms back into cactus arms. Okay, we did this before, lift the feet. You can stay here or extend the arms out in front of you. The arms are extended out in front of you. You're doing swimmers, so you lift the right arm, left leg, okay? And then switch. Left arm, right leg, switch. Switch, 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 keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Come back on up, inhale. Next, exhale, lower all the way down. Press back up, tabletop position. And just take a deep breath in. We're doing a few runs of cat cows. Deep breath in, and exhale. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Inhale, take a little back bend. And exhale, press the palms around the spine. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, back bending. We're doing five, exhale, round. Two more sets, inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. And exhale, round. Back to neutral. So you're gonna find a way into a forearm plank. Wrap up this, this class here. From the forearm plank, all right, you come on down. And we're gonna do palms together in this one. Palms together, shoulders are over the elbows. Lift the legs. You're gonna shift forward two inches. And then take it on back. 
You should feel this in your core too. And the upper body, shift forward, and back, shift forward, back for three, two, one more shift forward. And now plant the palms down towards the mat, okay? Now the palms are down. Slowly start to walk your feet in. You can keep the knees bent. This is a dolphin pose. You can keep the knees bent. Press down through the palms, that's important. Down through the forearms and your chest, back, ears by your upper arm bones. Okay, so you can keep the knees bent as much as you need or maybe the legs straighten. This of course, option one, knees are bent. Option two, you can straighten the legs. Option three, lift your right leg high. Holding three. Two, if your legs are extended, you're gonna switch the legs. So your lower, your right leg, lift your left leg. Wherever you are, keep breathing, we're almost there. <laughs> Two, and one. Lower that left leg down. Wherever you are, lower your knees down towards the mat. Walk your hands back and towards your thighs. Take the shoulders, roll them all the way up near the ears and then drop them down away from you. Two more, roll it on up and drop it on down. One more, roll it up and then to lower. So a little stretch here. Reach the left, the both arms up and bend the left elbow. Grab hold of it with your right hand. So you create a half gomakasana, arda gomakasana. Lift the chest up and you press your head into the little nook of the elbow. Stretch out the arm and then switch. Bend the right elbow, lift up and over. Three, two, and one. One more like we did in the beginning. So with a little bend in the knees, you're gonna interlace the hands, small of the back. Reach the arms up and overhead. Take a deep breath in here and a full exhale. Again, inhale. And a full exhale. And a deep breath in. On the exhale, you're gonna release the bind and roll your way all the way up to standing. Inhale. And exhale, release that bind, rolling, rolling, rolling. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Great work on our class one of strengthening, focusing on the upper body. See you in the upcoming video.